so I'm going to now show you how to make some changes to the parameters on your template. Uh, I'm using the JA Purity template, so the parameters are specific to that template that I will be making changes to. Uh, just to let you know exactly how to get to the parameters area and um, just to show you how to make changes to um, the template if you are using the JA Purity template. Um, if you're not using that one, you might want to still look along just to see how to make some changes to your site. So let's go back to the back end and I've gotten there by typing in administrator at the back of my website address. And now I'm going to go to extensions and template manager. And I'll click on the active template, JA Purity. And now here we see the parameters area for the uh, template. Um, most free templates don't have parameters. It will just be what it is. Um, but if you have purchased a, a template, most likely there will be some parameters that you could change, like the color scheme and maybe the, um, the width of the, of the web page. So the first thing that you can change here is the logo type. You can have an image like I have right now. I'll show you. That's the image of the logo that I have. Or you can have the text version. So right, I've already typed in um, what the text would be for this site if it was a text version of a logo. And also you can change the horizontal navigation. Uh, there's only one set of horizontal navigations, excuse me, um, on the site. And I'll go back, and it's down here on the bottom. I haven't seen much of a change in this. If I change the parameters, so I'm going to leave that alone. But here in the horizontal horizontal navigation area, you can have these two types of menus, but I haven't seen much of a change or difference in the two menus. Um, with that bottom horizontal navigation, so I'll just leave it the way it is. The template font size, I'll just add, I'll make it six. So um, just to make the font a little bigger. And the width uh, right now is at 97% because it's at specified in percentage. But um, let's say we want to change it to a pixel width. And um, I'll change it to 900. And but if you want to, just to know um, if it's in percentage, just if you had 50%, then it would be 50% of the uh, user's screen size. So depending on the screen size, that would uh, make a difference in how big the site is. But if you have it specified in pixels, then it will always be the same amount of pixels and width. Okay, so down here is template styles. And right now it's all in default. So the header themes, you can have it blue or green. I'm going to pick green for this one. Background themes, these two look pretty much the same to me for now, so I'm going to leave it alone. And um, primary elements, I picked red because it actually highlights the logo. I was going to pick green to match the green header, but I picked red. So I'm going to pick red here. And write modules collapsible function. I'm pretty certain that means that if you have no write modules, then either the website will collapse in so that there's no extra white space on the right side where there's no modules like polls or advertisements, or the articles will expand just to fill in that white space. So I'm going to leave that enabled. Default statics, expand all. I'm going to put collapse all. Just to show you what it looks like, um, certain modules are collapsible vertically collapsible so uh, just to show you that they do collapse if you want them to and uh, modules excluded this is since it's all in the area called write modules collapsible function then the write module that is excluded is number 38 and I know which one that is because I checked in the modules manager that that is the advertisements uh, module so I'm going to click apply.
apply so the advertisements module won't collapse. So click apply. Go to the site and refresh. Okay, so now we've got the red highlights of the site. And when I put my logo back, you'll see how it actually accents the logo. But um, so right now it's a text logo. If you don't have a logo, you might just want text there. And the polls module did collapse. The who's online module collapsed, but the advertisement one did not collapse. Um, that's because it was excluded. You can click here, see it appear again, and click back up to have a collapse again. And that's it. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to change the default status back to expand all and the logo type back to image. And I'm going to click apply. Before I look at it, I'm just going to also show you how to know what the excluded modules ID is. So we're just going to go back. We're going to get out of this area. Close. I'm going to go to module manager under extensions. And here on the side, you see the ID. And you're just going to look for number 38. And that right is here. And that is the advertisements um, mod banners module. And if you don't see the number, you can just go down here to display and click all to display all of them. Right now, it's just displaying up to 20. So uh, that's how you know which module is excluded. And if you wanted to change that to something else, um, then you can do so here. Or you can find the ID and put that in the um, excluded modules area for the template. And one last thing I'll show you before I go back to the site is to figure out which size you would like your website to be. Uh, you might want to go to a site called W3Schools. And this website has a lot of statistics that uh, you might want to look at for developing your website. And browser statistics and operating system and browser display st statistics. And for now, I'm just going to look at the display area. And here you see that only 1% right now are using um, 800 in width uh, screens. So you might not need to make it 800 or 900. You might want to make it a lot bigger for most screens. 20% uh, are using um, 1,024 pixels in width, and as I am right now also. And actually, 76% are using screens that are higher in width than 1,024. So you might want to look at some stats to uh, see what's best for, for your website and just think about what your users would probably be using also um, to view your website. And I believe that's it. I'll go back and click Refresh. OK, so you can see how the um, red is almost a good choice for um, accenting the logo and the text is a bit bigger than it was originally and that is all that's how you can uh, change some parameters in the JAPROD template and if you don't have this template um, at least you now know how to get to that area and hopefully you can figure out the, the parameter um, choices for your template okay so that's all for this tutorial and I will see you in the next one